We are live from the Microsoft booth, and we are here at TeacherCast live from Microsoft. I'm here with Becky Keen. Becky, how are you Hello. today? I'm great, thank you. Isn't this an amazing conference? This is awesome. 25,000 educators in Philadelphia. Is this your first ISTE? It's not. It's what, not my first ISTE. What do and you think? I'm, I'm thankful because it is so overwhelming. This is a huge facility. There's so many sessions. It's really hard to choose how to spend my time. How have you been spending your time? Uh, I went to a session on Minecraft. I'm so excited to start using it. I went to a session on freedom to fail. Um, I've just been really inspired by the other educators that are here with me. And today we're talking all about Surface Tablets and how yes. you're using Surface Tablets in your school district. Yes. Tell us a little bit about where you're from, what you do, and why are these devices awesome? Absolutely. I would love to. So I'm from Kent School District. I'm a teacher there, and I work with staff doing professional development and training and instructional coaching. Kent is 10 miles south of Seattle, Washington. These are pictures from my real classrooms, from my real kids. It's not like stock photo. These are real ones. Um, tweets from teachers in my school district who love our Surface Pro 3s. And how, how are you using these Surface Pro 3s in the classroom? We use them for everything, which is one of the things that I'd love to talk about is the fact that Surface Pro 3s and Surface 3s can do it all. We're really not limited by the device. We can do anything we want from web browsing and annotating to full software packages to just whatever we want. The sky's the limit. Well, let's take a look at this because it's, it's a hybrid, right? It's half tablet, half desktop. Absolutely. How are you using this and what kind of projects are your students doing? Well, we're, we're doing it all. Um, here's a photo, for example. Kids are using flexible learning spaces, which is, is awesome to see kids be able to really move around the room and not be stuck sitting at a desk all the time. They're using the audio features. They're plugging in headphones. They're working collaboratively with OneNote and online you know, document sharing. They're doing things that we didn't see possible before. I noticed that when you're doing this, you're swiping back and forth. So I am. how are your kids adjusting to a touch screen? Because I mean, they, they must be used to using a mouse, right? They, they are used to using a mouse, but I will tell you that kindergartners, um, they, they need to learn the fine motor skills of a mouse, but touch is so much simpler. I have a kindergartner that li lives with me, mm -hmm. and he, he'll say right off the bat, I want to use a touch screen because it's so much simpler. Even, even typing in letters, he would rather do on a screen than a full keyboard, which you know we all know isn't as efficient, but we're adults. And for kids, that's going to make a huge difference. You can see here... Um, we have two students working on the exact same assignment in OneNote on their surfaces, and one is choosing to do it in handwriting, and the other is choosing to type it. And the teacher is going in, this is actually in OneNote class notebook, the teacher is going in and giving live feedback as the student's working um, in that space from her own surface. So you can clearly see here that students are being active, they're being engaged, yes. and the assessment is right there. The students are able to interact with their teachers to see what's going on. This is absolutely amazing and transformative. It's, it's a game changer. I will tell you, I've had teachers emailing me saying, I can't go back. You know, I can't teach any other way now. Um, they love the portability. They love the pen. Um, they love that their students can do things in handwriting. They don't have to be stuck typing and equation editing, and that just gets messy. What's their favorite app to use? Their favorite app. I think their favorite app right now, other than OneNote, because that's everybody's favorite app, uh, is the travel app. We have students who are, you know, on their surface, in their classroom, able to experience places and worlds that they have never seen before. Um, maybe not worlds, but places they've never seen before. Um, as if they were there. It's a virtual field trip. It's amazing. They love it. Now, when we're talking about different school districts, we're looking at different acronyms like BYOD and one-to-one -one and all of these different things going right, on. Right, Does this work in a BYOD environment? If my school is not Surface, should sure. I get my student a Surface? Why should I get my student a Surface? Well, uh, I have to tell you, I've, I work with a lot of teachers. I, I get to visit all the schools in our entire school district, and I have not... Not once had a teacher say, I want to go, I want to get a different device now. Um, in fact, our teachers are going and purchasing them on their own uh, because they want to have them for their kids to use at home. Um, I, I think it's the best possible solution for kids because of the versatility and the fact they can do anything they want on this device. Talk a little bit about the expandability. I mean, we always talk about these things and say, well, they have 
all of these connection ports so you can really make this thing into right. anything that you want. Right, absolutely. So we have students plugging in um, those little cheap digital microscopes that you can get online for you know $20 and exploring things. Um, m we have students who are now brainstorming possibilities like wouldn't it be cool if I could attach an x-ray machine and I could fix, a student said this to me, you know what I want to invent? I want to invent a portable x-ray machine that I could plug into my Surface because they know it's got the USB and I could um, figure out where a bone is broken if I was like in a third world country and evaluate it on the spot. And that's something that isn't possible with a lot of other devices, but they know with the Surface they can do that. I have to ask, are you excited about the brand new Windows 10 coming out? I'm super excited about Windows 10. <laughs> have you um, thought about the possibilities of using Cortana with your kids? I have. I've thought about the possibilities. There may or may not, I may or may not be in a quick tip video all about that that's releasing you, in August. May or may not. We, might, we may <laughs> or may not have to add that to the end of this video when we push it's it. It's totally out. possible that I'm in a video showing you how to use Cortana, <laughs> so, which he didn't know, so it's kind of funny. That's really, I mean, there's so much stuff going on here. I've had my Surface tablet now for quite some time, and I find that it's very, very easy to use. The apps are beautiful. The screen resolution is great. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I have here, so this is a smart table, and I'm not selling for smart. We're here, we're here to talk about Microsoft. But I wanted to point out that if you have others, other things going on in your schools like we do, the, the, the teachers and the students, they need to have a device that can run other software, right? And so they're installing things on their computers that will run more than just Microsoft products. That's really important, too, to be able to think about the possibilities and the fact that I can plug in my Surface to this device and then do a whole different activity just from there. Now, we have a very captive live audience. We have a big audience here in front of us. The best way for people to, to, to learn about the Surface is to try it out. It's, yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the very best thing you can do is start using it. I know Windows 10 um, is going to be so easy and comfortable for people who have used Windows in the past. It's very easy to get started. Um, it's it feels really versatile. You have the addition of all the amazing apps, but yet that very comfortable start menu that Windows we all love from Windows 7. So I think trying one out and just seeing what it can do, um, seeing how simple it is to carry around, how, how great it fits in a purse or bag or backpack. Um, I, I carry mine with me wherever I go because I can't, I can't leave home without it. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, want to say thank you for stopping by TeacherCast Live from the ISTE booth. Can, you know, have a great time at the rest of the conference here. Thank you. Here. It's amazing. And I hope to see you in Denver next year. Yes, 2016, Denver. We'll be right back live from TeacherCast, from TeacherCast Live from the Microsoft booth. My name is Jeff Bradbury. We'll be right back with more.